And it says, the Prophet came toward us while carrying Umama, the daughter of Abi As, over his shoulder. He prayed, and when he wanted to bow, he, he put her down, and then he stood up and he lifted her up. This is giving us another demonstration of the humbleness, the rahmah toward the children. I personally experienced this myself. When I first came into Islam, I had two daughters. This is why this touches me so deeply to talk about this, because I had these two little girls with me, and I would take them to the masjid with me. And when it came time to pray, I didn't want them to stray away or bother anybody, so I would have one who would be standing right by my leg, and the other one I would be holding her in my arms. And I had heard about such a hadith as this, and that the Prophet wasalam, used to very much approve of this kind of action, that you have your children close to you, especially in your acts of worship. And then when I would bow, I would hold the one like this while I would bow in the prayer, and then stand back up with her. And then when it's time to prostrate, just put her right there. And when I would put my face down close to the ground, she would like kiss my face. And it was really sweet. And now today, these are grown ladies, married, and uh, inshallah, going to soon have children of their own. And I'm looking at them now and remembering these events and thinking how much effect it must have had on them because they have always kept up their prayers through their whole entire life. I've always been worshiping Allah by fasting and doing the acts of 